hey guys, like, oh my god, Bridgerton, 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 like, oh my god, it's so much Bridgerton, like, what, Bridgerton, like, yeah, obsessed with Bridgerton, like, Bridgerton study, yeah, Danbury shortbread and Queen Charlotte's tea, of course, yeah, like, totally Bridgerton, Bridgerton, Br Br Bridgerton, yeah, <laughs> if that's how you feel, like, your social media feeds have been recently, you're not the only one, oh my god, I feel like this Bridgerton thing has just been hype, like, to just, just the craziness, I just can't even believe it, uh, but yeah, so of course I do have the Bridgerton stuff today, if you couldn't figure out by that intro, but yeah, uh, so... We've known about this for probably a few months now. I think on the product database a while back is uh, all the Bridgerton names leaked as wallflowers. Uh, and then with more sources, uh, it was confirmed that there were also candles coming as well. Uh, and then some product photos leaked of the Queen Charlotte's tea or whatever. And that got taken down very swiftly. So it added even more like mystery or intrigue or even more hyper buzz to the collection because they were then so like hush hush about it. But of course now we like know that there is indeed a Bridgerton collab because they've previewed it on the app and then it's also previewed in the stores uh, and online as well. If you're an app member, you could pick up the products. Uh, like the candle's friggin' full price, but we have it here and we'll get into all of that. But there's that and then there's a whole other like list of candles that come in the Bridgerton collab. There was like a, the shortbread, the Danbury shortbread, uh, the Bridgerton study, Wisteria Garden, and Queen Charlotte's Tea, I think. Uh, and there's supposed to be like a full launch of uh, Diamond of the Season is the only one that has a full body care release to it. Uh, but there's also accessories and other stuff. So kind of fun. Uh, I really, I have never watched Bridgerton in my life prior to the names leaking on the product ingredients data base, which RIP, it doesn't exist anymore. Um, I had no idea what Bridgerton was. I've never even heard of it. I had no idea what it was. I had to like Google it to see what it was uh, and then figured it out that it was a Netflix show and I guess there's a new season uh, approaching in May or something like that. But any, in any case, yeah, so I'm not a Bridgerton fan. I don't know anything about it, but... Despite that, um, I'm just excited, I guess, that there's, like, fun, cohesively themed collections that will be coming to Bath & Body Works. And if that means we'll get, like, hopefully, new fragrances that we don't see in the regular line, then I'm, like, totally excited and gun ho for it. Um, and it just gives us something to look forward to and something that's exciting. Uh, if you caught there, there's, like, a Bridgerton collab page on Bath & Body Works that had, like, a little blurb about it. And it said, look forward to a year of exclusive Netflix collaborations or partnerships. So that's to assume that this is one of many in the coming year of Netflix collaborations or partnerships uh, for collab products. Um, I don't watch Netflix. I don't really know what the series are on Netflix. I don't know any of that. So I can't speculate as to what uh, series will get collabs on it. Uh, but once again, as I said before, I'm so excited just for new products. And like in this case, like Bridgerton has like a sort of like an English Victorian theme to it. Um, and Bath and Body Works no normally wouldn't like go that far heavy into like a sort of Victorian English like antique feel. So I love that we can actually get that type of motif uh, through a collaboration or partnership. So I'm excited about that. As you guys know, uh, other Kindle brands are well known for their collaborations. Uh, and so it's interesting that Bath & Body Works is also hopping on the collaboration uh, train uh, when it comes to these Netflix ones. So kind of kind of fun tidbit there. But yeah, so in any case, uh, we'll get right into it. So the... Um, App members, if you sign in, you have access to early preview, which is today and tomorrow. It is available for Boppis, and I had to go to work today, so I just did a Boppis early in the day. Um, I had a 10 off 30 coupon that's not supposed to expire for an entire year that like came through some like customer service mishap um, back in November, uh, and I've never used that promo code, but when I tried to use it today, it just did not work, and then when I like went with customer service to chat to see if they could like, reissue a 10 off 30 that works, suspiciously, she also said the 10 off 30 coupon um, system is down and she can't issue a new one. So all she could offer me was a 20% off coupon. And I was like, ah, I was saving that 10 off 30 for a rainy day like this, where I could use it on a full price freaking candle, such as this Bridgerton one, and then at least feel good about the fact that at least I got a 10 off deal on it. But I couldn't even get that. But thankfully I had the 25% off mailer coupon that I used in store. Uh, on the flip side, there's an online code and you can actually use that one um, even if you've already redeemed it in store as a paper uh so i just did that and it took like eight dollars off of it so like a two dollar difference but um i never ever pay full price for these candles but it's like the first collab that they've ever done and i was just like you know what it's fun and exciting and i can still make a video about it so i just did it but i wouldn't ever recommend pay paying full price for a bath and body works candle and if there was ever a full price candle from bath and body works that i've spent full price on it certainly wouldn't be this one after i've smelled it but we'll get into that 
but yes. And then there's body care and the pocket bag. So I have a haul of a few of the items and I've used them to varying degrees, so we'll talk about it. Uh, so yeah, Diamond of the Season is the hero fragrance of the collection that's also getting the pocket bag and the hand soap, wallflower, uh, and body care forms. I think the other uh like court the other like flanker candles or have your the other like supporting candles um have candles and i think wallflowers but i think that might be the extent of those whereas this one has the body care and the hand soap and the pocket back so i was like you know what with all this hype of diamond of the season and it's called diamond of the season it's all like glitzing and glamming it's supposed to be the hero fragrance i was like this has got to be some like juicy awesome extraordinary fragrance like forever red got the massive hookup back when that came out so i was thinking i mean not necessarily forever red because it's not a peach fragrance but something sumptuous and rich and uh decadent and indulgent and luxurious like that is what i was expecting expecting uh and then so i was like excited all day for it. i was just turning away at work and i was like oh my god i just want to go and pick up my boppa's order for the bridgerton stuff and then i got into the store and i smelled it there was only a single candle left in the store i don't know if they had some other in understock or in the back room there was only one available for purchase and i was like Ooh, i'm glad i mean i could have still got that one but i'm glad i put in my boppa's order i would assume because this preview is supposed to go to two days that it would also, that would replenish for tomorrow, I would think. So I'm not trying to like make you guys, uh, you know, FOMO or anything like that. But in any case, without further ado, here is the candle in question. So Bridgerton uh, Diamond of the Season, uh, kind of rather subtle and uh, minimalist for something that's supposed to be like a over the top Diamond of the Season, like Victorian English feel to it. But I also think they have to kind of like balance the tastes as well as the theming in the sense that people generally like don't like the antique Victorian style that I got going on uh, and they like something a little bit more subtle and subdued so uh, maybe this is the way for them to kind of like uh, have a delicate balance between the two but this is just very subdued and very like minimalist for a like what I would imagine for a Bridgerton candle to be uh, but this does indeed have like the black velvet um black velvet texture that like the frosted moscow mule uh label had and did the sweet tea and lemonade one have it too and then it has a like pearlescent uh like almost a yellowish uh gold finish to it um and then it has the glass fancy glass lid that i believe is the same exact pattern as the ones that we saw in the like springtime in paris this collection right here is just in black and because of that, it does jack it up to $32.95. Uh, keep in mind, these were $29.50 when these came out. Um, and so that's what that's what's going on there. So yeah, this was full price. I just did 25% off on it. If there's a candle sale in the next two weeks, you better believe I'm bringing my butt in to do a price adjustment on it. And I'm not even... 100% sure I'm going to keep this with how uh, underwhelming the fragrance is. Uh, but this is what the bottom looks like. There's a little thing off to the side that says Bridgerton with a Netflix uh, bit on it. And then the notes there, as you can see. Uh, sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. Uh, the lids are not super snug. They're not as tight as this, but they don't they kind of fall off, but not completely. They're not as loose as some, but they're also not super tight either. Um, so thick rope like wigs, white wax on it, and yeah. And yeah, I just smelled this in the store and I was like, what? This is it? It's just very, a very light, subdued fragrance. It's very subtle. And for something as glitzing and glamming and diamond of the season and all the hoopla of it, I was just expecting something so much more just strong and explosive and something that was just like really left an impression on you. But I mean, if this was just, you know, a candle in one of these regular seasonal collections... I don't know what I have even picked it up. I'm not, I can't really say I, I, I would or like it would be one of those where I would like hem and haw over it kind of like greenhouse fern where I like go into the store and smell it every single time. But ultimately I'm just kind of like, okay, this isn't that like wow that I need to go pick it up. And then maybe come SAS, I would have like bought it for 75% off or like a $8 candle deal or what, what have you. But yeah, so what you get, you get a peach um, and I've used the Fine Fragrance Mist, so the dry down is a little bit different from the top impression that you get when you first smell it, but you get a peach in there, and then when you use the pocket back, so I did also buy the pocket back, and that's what that looks like. Um, pocket back is a good representation of the fragrance because it's like very concentrated and you can really smell it when you use it. Uh, but you get a peach mixed with a citrus. Uh, the peach 
uh, comes off a little bit like warm or creamy. I would almost even say buttery. So it reminds me of the peach that you get from Honeysuckle Peach Spritz, which I actually really ended up enjoying that one. Uh, but it's similar to the peach, but it's just still not quite as uh, like very strong and intensely peach as uh, their usual market peach or even Honeysuckle Peach Spritz or Prosecco and Peaches um, or Pink Peach Blossom. It shares a similar peach to sort of the Prosecco and Peaches and the um, Honeysuckle Peach Spritz. They both have this sort of like sweet, buttery, creamy peach to it that doesn't quite have the harsh, rough edges as like Market Peach, Georgia Peach has with the plastic trash bag peach reference that I make. And even this is still so much more, very intensely has that uh, peach note to it that's just like undeniably peach. And this one's more subdued in the, the scope of things. But you get the peach. There's definitely a, almost like a, I almost want to say like an effervescent citrus in here that could almost be, come off as like almost like a champagne effervescent, like, like a celebration vibe to it. That's mixed with the peach that gives it sort of like a, a peachy, a like cocktail, champagne, alcohol drink is kind of what that comes off as. And then it, then it's combined. So you get the peach and the citrus. Uh, but once again, just the peach is quite subdued. It's not as sharp and intense as the other peaches. Um... And then you get a floral component in here. Can I like pinpoint it exactly to daffodil or jasmine? No, it's just kind of like this sort of general powdery floralness. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of like an air freshener floral. Or remember those like the paper like packets or the sachets that have the um, like potpourri in it or like an air freshener beads in it, you know, like the paper packets. It reminds me very much of that sort of like, almost like papery, uh, powdery, air freshener, uh, potpourri texture to it is kind of what I get from the floral, where it's just like this general, like papery, powdery floral. And that's mixed with the citrus and the peach. And overall, it's just not very a strong, bold fragrance. It's just rather light and subtle, and especially when you smell it in the store amongst all the other fragrances going on in the store, it's rather underwhelming. I was just like, wow, I can't believe I just spent like full price plus coupon on this, that I was just like, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this. But we'll see. It's not to say that it's offensive. It's not to say that it's not pleasant. Uh, like there's nothing wrong with it. It is a pleasant fragrance. It doesn't smell disgusting or nasty. It's not offensive, uh, but it's just yet another run-of-the-mill Bath & Body Works like sort of peachy, bubbly, um, you know, body care fragrance that might come out during the springtime. But I could even see them packaging this as some kind of like um, sparkling peach bellini, whatever the heck, uh, during the uh, holiday Christmas season because it does have a sort of an effervescence from the citrus note in there. Yeah, she exists. If it wasn't for the whole Bridgerton preview, Bridgerton, 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 like so much hype, hype, hype uh, action and the, the marketing push behind it, a total one and done fragrance, but it exists. So we'll see how it does. So that was that right there. I would say totally worthy, unless you're just like some kind of like crazy peach body care fanatic, totally worth just waiting out and riding it out until some kind of candle sale happens. It's just like... It's certainly like, at least for me, it's like no rose water meringue or pink petal tea cake or anything like that. But sometimes I'll go really hard on a fragrance uh, and then end up still liking it for just how pleasant it is, even if it's not impressive, it, it, like after I burn it and use it. So I, I'll try to reserve a little bit of judgment for that. So that was the candle. Uh, of course, I did use the pocket back here. Um, yeah, I just get a, it's just sort of that, the peach kind of really kind of goes away on dry down and you're just really left with that sort of like papery, um, air freshener uh, powdery floral action is what you get afterwards with just a little bit of a hint of that sweetness from the fruit notes in. So that was that right there and that's what that looks like close up. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, I had a reward. So I redeemed it on the body wash and I was just like, this fragrance has got to be good, right? Let me just get the body wash uh, sight unseen. Uh, and so I did that. Um, I'll probably still keep this just because, I don't know, it's their first collab, like major collab like this. So I guess I'll try it. Sparkling Peach, Spring Daffodil, and Radiant Jasmine. That's just what that looks like right there. Um, does this, yeah, this has the Netflix uh, Bridgerton logo down there. Uh, and then just, you know, pretty gold. The packaging is pretty. I like the bees and everything. So that was that. Um, I used the fine fragrance mist, two spritzes. I can still smell it one hour later. So there's that. Um, it, you do, once again, it's kind of like the pocket bag. It just really dries down to that sort of papery, powdery, like sort of air freshener floral quality. 
and then a little bit in the background is a sweetness that's coming from the peach and the citrus and that's that so yeah uh, if i had to compare it to anything else uh what came to mind was springtime in paris which ironically i brought this out for the lid but the fragrance is also kind of in this realm as well uh, of course this has the soft peach the lotus blossom and the fresh bergamot so you can see it shares a bergamot citrus note similar to sort of effervescent citrus you get in the uh, bridgerton one uh lotus blossom is just some kind of floral and then of course peaches in there so it's not the same fragrance but it's kind of has a similar feel to it for sure yeah i don't they're not the same fragrance by any means but i would like if i had to compare it to something like maybe springtime in paris and then honeysuckle peach spritz would be the next most comparable thing i think i saw pretty as a peach being uh, thrown around that was that was some other that was that georgia peach fragrance at one point but i think that was just so much more intensely peach than even the bridger like than the bridgerton one is so i can't say it's quite as peachy as pretty as a peach but it is a peach floral body care fragrance so it's you know kind of in the similar family and i think that's it for the bridgerton stuff so um kind of underwhelmed with diamond of the season i'll have to like use it to see what my final verdict is but it's just like the marketing push in the fancy packaging and all that kind of stuff does wonders it's just the usual bath and body works marketing machine so it's kind of expected at this point um i'm just more excited for the supporting fragrances the the sh shortbread one hopefully it's just some awesome like shortbread uh bakery fragrances bbw tends to do that well there's a tea fragrance i usually enjoy tea fragrances hopefully that's just not like london tea and lemon repackaged and some actual other tea fragrance uh wisteria garden we used to have a wisteria garden back in the day i don't know if it's the same fragrance but i always love me a good juicy garden floral so excited for that uh and then i think bridgerton study was the other one uh, that's supposed to be some kind of like woodsy fragrance so hopefully um better than book loft in a stronger throw than book loft uh and i think that's the collection is there another one i think it was five in total yeah uh so that was it uh so this previewing today tomorrow and then the rest of the stuff is supposed to be um somewhere in the march 20 something time frame it's like a week and a half from now yeah something like that and that's it uh let me know if you smell the bridgerton stuff uh if you're obsessed with bridgerton if you give two craps about bridgerton all the thoughts and if you smelled the fragrance were you overwhelmed underwhelmed or just whelmed by it let me know all the thoughts down below and i'll talk to you guys later bye